going to be explaining why we see different constellations throughout the year and like why that happens. So, this is a thing we made in class. If you turn it, so, so as you can see, this is winter, spring, you can see that, and if you spin it, there's the earth, everything's right there, so you can see that, so if you spin it, so right now, we are in July, see that, and the months are on that, so if we go to like, so our first question is, what time of year can you see Scorpius? So in this thing, well, first of all, Scorpius is this guy right here. So we're going to see what time of year we can see that. So if we spin it, oh, hold on, I have my boxes starting to fall apart. Okay, so Scorpius is right here. Right here. So that means that, and that's in the place of summer. But the thing is, you could also see it in spring and fall. As you can see, half of the earth. Never mind. So you can see half of the earth. So you can't see that side. You can't see. Okay, let's say you're in fall, okay? You can see some of uh, winter and some of summer. So it's like that. And so, yeah. So you can see Scorpius in the summer mostly, but also in some other seasons. So the next question is, what constellations do you see in March? So March is in the spring, so we'll move this to the spring. And that's the spring. This is the winter one. This is the fall. So I'm at March right now. Oh, hold on, my thing is far farther. And you're facing... Alright, so right now, we're in March. Right there. So right there is Orion, so we can see Orion. This is Tauros. Um, then we can also see some of these guys. So we can kind of see Leo and maybe Ursa Major. Is that Ursa Major? Yeah. So that's what kind of constellations you can see in March. Um, so now, uh, what evidence do we use? So that the uh, Earth orbit orbits the sun. So right now, sorry, uh, I'm gonna move this over here. This box actually is so. This is the sun, okay? These are all different constellations, and this is the Earth. So right now, I'm going to move this over here, actually, because I'm going to see. So, as you can see, I taped the floor, and I showed the seasons. So, right there is spring, right here is spring, over here is fall, here is summer, yeah, summer, and then here is winter. Right here. So when this, um, uh, so if Earth is right here in winter, uh, this is the nighttime in the back of it. This is facing, let's say this is Orion, okay, because that's a winter constellation. So, but if it is in the summer, uh, you're facing the sun now. So it would, you would be only, you could only, 
Orion occurs in the day, but you can't see Orion because the sun's light overtakes it. And then one last example is, and same with here, like, a summer constellation is Scorpius, so if you, this is Scorpius, it's nighttime, and then you can't see it. And then if you're in spring, at nighttime, you can see Ursa Major, Leo, um, and so, but in the day, you can only see the fall constellations, like, 